Cool. All right. So, so Taylor, like, obviously it's been a while um, since I've heard your backstory, but tell me a little bit, like, tell me your backstory and how you got to actually being able to meet me. or just kind of like the whole thing yeah, like, like like just your story of how you got to sitting right in front of me at big summer what was your story um well i was well first i'll just say how i got to montana because then i kind of got with you shortly after that so i was working in texas and i was stressed out um not taking care of myself and i've needed I didn't like my job I wanted to escape from that so I was like you know what I'm gonna try to do something new my parents wanted to retire in Montana so I was like I'm gonna go for it so I moved up there thinking that you know I don't like this job whatever I was gonna solve all my problems getting a new environment um so I started a life in Montana but shortly after I got another job that I didn't like and still wasn't taking care of myself and you know just the move didn't change anything so I got to the point where I was like well what is it going to take what do I need to do to finally resolve my problem so then I just started looking for programs and I actually heard about you from a friend of mine and she got good results from it. And I was like, you know what, this is what I need. I need structure. I need somebody that's going to help me with nutrition and exercise because it's too overwhelming on my own. I can't do it. So then that's kind of how I found you. So and then when we talk about your, you're looking for exercise and nutrition program, like some structure, like what sort of goals were you looking to accomplish? Like, like external goals. Uh, I definitely wanted to lose weight because I had a lot of weight that I was carrying around with me. I wanted to not only lose weight, I didn't just want to be like, okay, I lost the weight. I wanted to tone up. I wanted to, you know, have nice legs and like look like I worked out and stuff like that. So, um, so that was basically what I want to do. Mainly weight loss though, because I have been carrying around this weight my whole life and I didn't know how to get rid of it. That's awesome. And then you say you're looking for a new environment as well. So like, kind of tell me like, like what were some of the internal things that, that you were dealing with that was really was showing up on the outside of the, of the extra weight? Like, like what was the internal struggles you were, that you were kind of dealing with? Like no confidence at all, no self-esteem, a lot of feelings of unworthiness. And basically, you know, like you, I think I was just trying to find a way to escape that, but I wasn't really willing to put in the work. I didn't know what to do really, yeah. but um, yeah, I just, I had no confidence. I didn't like who I was. I didn't, you know, I didn't value myself. Um, it's almost like I didn't even know who I was either, really. And I was just a lost person. And I think I just, you know, used the weight as a way to protect myself because I was trying to hide all the feelings that I felt about myself inside. Sure. And like, how long would you say you actually, like you felt this way? Like how long were you, were you holding this extra weight, this extra baggage for? I feel like my whole life, I remember being eight years, I mean, I've been overweight my whole life since I was eight years old. And I've known that I've struggled with self-confidence and issues like that since I was eight years old. So it's just been something that has accumulated over time. And I didn't know how to, you know, how do you get over that? How do you just love yourself one day? You know what I mean? So, what, you know. um, So like what, what finally got you to a point where you're like, okay, like enough is enough. Like I need to do something about this. Uh, maybe like, Try something again because obviously like you have tried things in the past right yeah so, like what was like what was was there like a like a moment in a a, 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 a a like did something happen you're like okay it's time to actually do something and try to make this thing stick again yeah i think it was my mom and i went on a trip to antigua and um it just you know like i didn't even realize how big i got until we were looking through the pictures and stuff and i was like oh my god like you know I knew I was big and I felt big but then when I actually like kind of like saw it and I always thought like oh well I'm at like 197 I'm not 200 pounds so it's not that bad right I'm not 200 pounds and so like but then when I I was just like okay but 
I was miserable the whole trip. You know what I mean? I didn't enjoy myself. Like I was just, it was just not how I was looking so forward to that vacation. And it was just like, not how I really, I didn't even get to enjoy it because I was miserable because of how big I was. And I also think at that same time, after looking at the pictures, I was like, in six months, I'm gonna be 30 years old. And I was like, I'm 30 years old and I'm almost 200 pounds. Like what has happened to me? Like as a kid, like I knew I was overweight, but I, I thought one day I'm gonna get this under control. I'm not gonna be like this in the future. You know, like right now I'm just weak and one day I'll figure it out. And, but so then when the reality hit that I'm actually an adult and this is the future and I'm 200 pounds, I was like, I, this is, I can't live like this. This is not how, this is not who I'm supposed to be. This is not how my life is supposed to be. I've got to change because this is, I'm better than this. I know that I need to do better. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Um, that's like, that's like a very big memory. Um, what, so then, so from now, once you realize, okay, I know I need to do something like this cannot, like you cannot continue to go this way. Like what was the epiphany that kind of led you to coming to a program like ours where it's like all comprehensive and has all stuff, um, but rather than like do it on your own, I guess. Would be the question. I get well, so then after that, I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna try the whole 30 or something, you know, one of these fad things. And I was like, okay, so I did that for a month, I was miserable, I didn't really lose any weight. And so, I was like, obviously, like, I'm cutting out things, but I'm eating too much. I need somebody to help me tell me, like, what, how many calories am I supposed to be eating? No. Um, what, you know, what. I, what foods am I supposed to be eating? You know, how much am I supposed to be eating? And also somebody to help me be motivated to work out too, because there's so many different exercises and things that you can do. I was overwhelmed and I didn't know what to pick. Like there's so much out there is what do you do? Yeah. So then when I was like, okay, well, somebody's going to help me with nutrition and they're going to coach me with through workouts. This is exactly what I need. And I've been looking for. Yeah. It's it's confusing, right? When there's like there's so much stuff out there, and I also feel like it honestly doesn't matter what you do. A lot of times, it's just that you're doing something and that you feel confident in, and that's a lot of the times what it is. Like, like I could tell you to do anything, and you just would have done it, and you would have done good because you just were focused rather than like wondering in the back of your head, like like it's that doubt that 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 exactly. really questioning your ability to go all in, right? And then, so tell me this, when, when we first sat down, like, what was, what was the initial plan? Like, what did you want to, like, like what were your expectations? Like, what did you want to accomplish when we, when we originally sat down and uh, you're like, okay, here's, here's what I plan on happening. Like, like, what did you want to happen? I wanted to definitely lose weight. I was hoping that at least like within a year that I could lose like 50 to 60 pounds. Yeah. So that was my initial plan. That's awesome. And tell me like, because there's, there's always obstacles and there's always things you got to overcome. Like, what were some of the things that you faced at, at the start of this journey and, and even throughout the journey? Like, like, what were some of the problems you faced and things you had to overcome? Um, well, basically, um, learning how to create new coping mechanisms. Like, uh, first, I was using alcohol a lot to deal with emotions that I didn't like with the unworthiness and the feelings that I was having internally. I didn't know how to handle those internally. So my, I had a drinking problem. And so that was something that was really huge that has affected my life my, since I was you know, a teenager, basically. And I learned now that I have to find other ways to deal with this. And so um, I've actually pretty much cut out alcohol which is huge for me and um, my family's very happy for me and I'm happy for myself too. So that was a huge thing, but like just learning how to find that relationship with alcohol and to realize that I don't need this and it's not serving me and um, it's not going to help me get to where I need to go yeah. and I don't need it. And so I think this is actually important to understand, like how much weight did you actually lose like in your first like month or two? Um, in my first month or two, gosh dang, I don't know, I would say like probably like 10 pounds. And how much did we actually focus on exercise nutrition during that first two or three months? Or even, I guess, even up until now, to be honest with you, like how much has that been where the focus of our conversations? Um, well, we do talk about it, but we talk a lot about headspace and 
growth and how you're feeling throughout the process. Yeah. And tell me like, tell me kind of like, what has like, as the mindset shifts, like, like tell me your mindset shift when we started to, to kind of where you're at now. Um, I'm basically a totally different human. <laughs> um, my whole life has changed. Uh, I, you know, I'm every day, you know, you're always striving, you're working, but I'm completely different person than who I was when I sat down with you. Um, I learned to overcome a lot of obstacles that I didn't think that I could ever overcome. I'm my view of the outside world and the, my inside self is changed. Uh, I have, you know, I've gotten my power back and my, I'm starting to love myself more and more every single day and accept myself and ex have patience and trust what I'm doing and trust the process and just, you know, be gentle with myself and love myself through this whole thing, because that's the most important thing, because I want to, I want to be successful and I have been successful, but I want to continue being successful. And I want to enjoy the process through the whole entirety. And I just, um, yeah, I'm a lot happier and healthier. So I, a lot has changed. Me and, me and Katie talk about you all the time. It's like, you're not like not even close to being the same person. Like, like you came in oh. a blonde and now you're brunette, right? It's yeah, like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I totally changed. Yeah. yeah. No, but honestly, it's been it's been really cool to kind of see your transition. And I think that's really important. Is that we didn't like in the beginning, we didn't even talk about like tactical exercise and tactical nutrition. It's always been a lot about your headspace. You get your headspace right, then all of a sudden we can get more into the tactics of of, of a certain exercise and nutrition that actually can work for you. But the headspace is often doesn't really matter what you do, right? Uh, but that being said, let's like to talk a little bit about your results because like you, you you have got amazing results. And so aside from like what we'll, we'll save the actual weight loss to the very end, but tell me about your actual habits. Like tell me what you do on the workout side first, and we'll talk about about the nutrition side, and it, it, it we'll touch a little bit on mindset as well. But like tell me your exercise habits because I think this is really cool as well. Yeah. Um. So basically, um, love working out now. I actually work out twice a day sometimes because I just can't get enough of it, which is totally different because you know, you know. I know like, well, before it's like I couldn't even get 2000 steps on my Fitbit. Now I'm like all over the place. So that's really changed a lot for me. I enjoy it. Um, so right now I'm doing five days a week. I do a hit class at my gym, which I love too, because it's different. It's fun, but I also love the community and all my friends there. And so that's, that's the one key thing that I will say about that too, is because I actually enjoy going. That's what makes me want to go. So that's why I've been able to stick with it because I enjoy it. So it's definitely important to find something that you like. That's what I had to learn. And uh, now I've incorporated two heavy lifting days a week too, as well. So awesome. getting, getting those gains. And, and just to be clear, it's like, like you're not working out at, at my gym, right? Because you're oh, obviously yes. not, you're, you're, you're not yeah. anymore. Yep, not in Montana anymore. So I had a, my husband got a job. So I moved back to Texas. Yeah. And but I've been still working remotely. But yeah. And then tell me a little about your nutritional habits. Um, so definitely the huge, the most important thing is my fitness pal logging what I eat, no matter what. Um, and I also like well, I go to snap kitchen, which is a place that makes meals for you weekly. So but um, I have to log everything I eat. And what I do is the night before I plan out my meal for the day, check my macros, make sure I'm in my calorie range. And then, so that way it's set in stone. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to delete it or mess it up or anything. So it keeps me accountable and committed for the next day. So that's been working really well for me too. Don't, don't be scaring people with planning and food. That just seems crazy. Like you actually know what you're going to eat the next day. Yeah, I know, right? If I don't know what I'm going to eat the next day, I have a free little panic attack. So I'm like, I just can't handle it. I have to know. <laughs> and then tell us some of your, like your, like your, like your morning habits or your morning routine or, or your mindset habits. Like what are some of those things that you do as well? Because I think those are important too. Um, well. So I wake up and um, first thing I do is I take my dog for a walk because I like to get up and get moving. It kind of gets me up out out in fresh air and I enjoy that time a lot so I'll take her on like a 30 minute walk and then I come home and I'll have like a cup of coffee and I usually like read a book mostly like kind of like self like 
growth books, you know, and or I kind of like to just I don't know if it's really meditating. I don't know. I kind of reflect on my goals and what I want to accomplish. And I try to visualize myself. So maybe it's like visualization, visualize myself in those situations, you know, doing those things. And then um, I go to work out and then I come back and then I work for the rest of the day. Awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And then of course, what are your, what are your weight loss results and, and your body coverage results um, as well? Well, I've lost 36 pounds. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. huge. Yeah. And I, my body and it's not only the weight, the pounds, but like my body composition is totally changed. Like I got some, like, I can see like some abs going on and my legs are really getting defined big time. So it's really been fun to see, like, I was actually looking at some pictures of me like the other day and I was just like, whoa, like, I didn't even have a waistline. I was just like a fox, like a big blob. And now I'm like this. So it's been really cool. I'm now curvy. So it's like really cool to be like, wow, I actually have a shape. So um it's, and then it's fun to be like okay it's only you can only keep getting it better and better so it's really been exciting yeah you know, you're, you're truly you're truly an amazing human being just in general and uh, like i've really enjoyed seeing your progress and i guess one more question um like what message would you deliver to the tailor who started like a year and a half ago like what would you say to that person right now if they're just getting started and they don't really know what's happening and they're not sure if it's going to work for them and tried all these things in the past like what would you say to taylor a year and a half ago i would say that it seems overwhelming right now but if you um, take the time to really invest in yourself and um you know do mainly turn inside and believe that you can do this. And once you start believing that you can do it, then you will start to achieve it. And then just trust yourself through the process. Love yourself. You're going to have ups and downs, but as long as you stay committed to that original goal and try to be true to yourself as most as possible, then you will get the results that you want because you're finally taking the time, love yourself, believe in yourself, and the results will happen no matter what. So that's what I'd say. Love the process, right? Just love the process. Yep. yep. <laughs> you don't love what you're doing, it won't ever stick. It's kind of, exactly. It's kind yep. Of, hey, I appreciate you taking the time out today and uh, said you're an amazing person. I appreciate you a lot. Same again. Appreciate you.